Hello, I'm Andy, and I'm going to read the monthly tarot reading for February 2017 for you coming from Capricorn, and this is for the month of February. Let me shuffle the cards first. And the first card that I'm going to pull will have to do with the areas of romance, marriage, and family. So let me pull the first card. And it's facing me, which means you don't have much control. But it is a pleasant card. And it says that for the first 15 days, I usually divide the card into two. And uh, so the first 15 days, you're going to get plenty of good news and support. And you're going to do very well and progress in your areas of romance. Let's start with romance. This first section is about romance, marriage and family. So about your romance, there's plenty of it around for you. You can pick and choose, it says, if you want. And it shows two things. One is that you could have met this person already some time ago. And it could be now in the renewal of a meeting. Or it can also show that this person comes as could be a colleague or a working uh, contact or a business contact. Either way, romance situations look very good for you in the first 15 days. The last 15 days are a little bit troublesome. There is only one good planet left to help you, which means that the possibility of the first 15 days being so exciting, now the excitement dwindles down, either from your side or either from the other side. And therefore, unhappiness is seeping in in the last 15 days in the romance areas. So the best way to tackle this would be not to give your heart away too quickly in the first 15 days. Otherwise, you're going to be left floundering for some kind of stability in the last 15 days. Last 15 days says that you are going to discover something not very nice about your partner and also the emotional state generally is not very good. Okay. Now let's talk about marriage. The first 15 days are going to be full of harmony. Long term harmony is there. So agreement and the support from your side and from the other, other side, your marriage, uh, your marriage partner is extremely good. You are very happy in the first 15 days and uh, it also shows that progress in uh, wanting to do what you wanted to do together is also functioning very well. But the last 15 days become very troubled. And again, they can show that something which is not very pleasant has developed in your marriage in the last 15 days. Could be a secret that's being exposed. Could be something kept away from you which now is exposed. Or something you are trying to keep away and the other party has exposed. So be careful, don't allow things like that to be around. Otherwise the exposure is going to trouble you very much in the last 15 days, very badly. The other negative planet shown here on the card is all about water. So I'll attach the moon to it. And the moon basically in your marriage area will show a, a, a tendency towards happiness in any of the three areas mental, emotional or physical. So in any of these three areas, you must put your finger on it and fathom which one to help your partner so that the situation doesn't get too bad between you and your marriage partner in the last 15 days. So first 15 days, things go so well. In the last 15 days, things start to slow. The first, the first few days of the last 15 days will be slow to come for you. But as the day moves on, you will find that the last 15 days become worse and worse and worse. So that's your marriage area. General family areas, uh, I would apply the same rule to say that where siblings are concerned, parents are concerned, there's a lot of harmony in the first 15 days, but don't allow the parent area or the sibling area to interfere with your marriage in the last 15 days, because that could be one possibility of how trouble is going to, to creep in very fast in the last 15 days. And also in family areas, there may be some disagreements. So keep your marriage partner out of it where, where siblings or where parents are concerned. Okay. 
the next card that I'm going to pull has got to do with your career, business and the financial areas and is facing you. We showed that you have plenty of control over these areas. Firstly, the career. First 15 days. First 15 days for you are extremely good. You can win promotions. You can win support. You can make money. And in your career area, you are the chosen one who is going to get a promotion so or support from your superiors. So a wonderful first 15 days is shown here and you are doing extremely well. There is one planet that may trouble you a little bit. No, there isn't. So you are doing well. It's, a, it's, it's an extremely good 15 days. The second half of the month regarding your career areas, some problems are seeping in very fast. You can be played out, you can be let down, you can have differences of opinion which are more emotional state than anything else and so your career area shows many disagreements between between you and your colleagues or superiors in the last 15 days you coming from capricorn can be easily depressed during this last 15 days and also don't show your temper otherwise uh, provocation can make things worse so first 15 days extremely good second 15 days weakening but you can there's there are still one or two planets which keep you afloat don't worry regarding business the first 15 days you are very lucky so go all out to secure contracts meet business people somehow secure business for yourself you'll come in readily in the first 15 days 15 or 16 days and then watch out that the last 15 days or so of the month are going to produce a lot of disappointments and letdowns. So you cannot depend on the first 15 days, you cannot depend on promises made alone. Get things in writing, get things in a contractual form and that way you will always have a good footing even if the bad news comes in the, in the last 15 days. The last 15 days um, also shows that Either you are uncertain if you want to carry on with the project or the other side may be uncertain whether they want you to carry on with their project. So uncertainty is seen in the last 15 days, plenty of good possibility in the first 15 days. Regarding finances, there's plenty of things to look forward to in finances in the first 15 days. But last 15 days, there's a bit of panic about money and a bit of uh, let down about income. Okay. The last card I'm going to pull for you will be to do with your health areas and is facing you which is a good sign shows that you are in control nothing very bad is going to happen for you anyway first 15 days you are doing very well the energy levels you have are very strong and whatever you do but there is some stress the planet of stress is also here okay this is the card and the planet of stress is also here and the stress areas could be that you have a lot to do, too much to do. So get a good team in the first 15 days because plenty of good news is coming and therefore you need a lot of energy. Otherwise there can be stress, anxiety. And for you in Capricorn, stress and anxiety can affect your heart or your liver. So watch out that the heart or the liver areas um, in 2017 in the month of February may trouble you in the first 15 days or for the whole month. The last 15 days in your health areas, they become worse. And I'm picking up a few things about your stomach in the last 15 days or for the whole month of February. Um, something about your stomach. If you're a woman listening to me, something to do about your womb. And then also the, the danger of some diabetes. So look into these few areas. If there are symptoms, go and have them checked up. But the, it's a good card in the sense that nothing is fragile and broken. So it may be only news of some health issues regarding stress and anxiety. Okay. And this is what I have to tell you coming from Capricorn for the month of February. I wish you a good month and thank you and goodbye.